Hello everybody, welcome back to the Transformers channel. In today's video, I don't want to slam this down. I got something from the attic. Okay, we're gonna have to zoom the heck out for this one. I'm thinking about leaving the set like, well, you'll see in a minute. All right, ignore how dusty this is, attic moment. We got some G1 Transformers. This is manuals and stuff. I have a pretty decent G1 haul of some of my dad's old stuff that he didn't already give me. And uh, I'm just I'm just gonna take everything out. We're gonna look at it. Probably the most important thing here is the Lynx part. The Lynx part to Skylynx. Uh, you already know I have the top part of Skylynx, the cool part, the spaceship part. But I didn't even know he had a bottom part up until when I became a fan of Transformers. And then when we're going through my dad's old Transformers, Look, there's the, the bottom part of Skylynx, which is really weird. I don't get... I haven't started season 3 or 4 of Transformers G1, so I know nothing about Skylynx. We also have a G1 Optimus uh, in... Yeah, okay, he clearly played with this a bunch when he was a kid, but there's actually one in worse condition that we'll see. Um, it's interesting that they used actual metal on the Transformers. I think that's really cool. That's something I like about the old toys. Uh, but he's missing his tires, and he's in really rough shape. We also have this Snarl, who part of him, it's not missing, but it is broken, so I'm gonna attempt to fix that. I'm not sure how, but yeah, okay. I, I think I'm gonna go back in time and be like, listen, I'm from the future. I'm your son from the future, dad. Don't play with these toys, even though you have every reason to play with them because they're yours and you don't realize that in the future, some loser's gonna want them. This one, I, I feel weird about, it's Perceptor. What the heck? Whoa. Oh, that's trippy, that's a glare. I was, that's tape, I think. I was wondering what that was. Here is a G1 Perceptor. I already have G1 Perceptor, but I lost him because I couldn't care less about him back in the day. Okay, listen, I my dad didn't tell me he turned into a microscope and I thought he was a Decepticon and I couldn't figure out how to transform him, not realizing he was a microscope. So I'm sorry if I didn't care about him back in the day. And I don't know where he is. I doubt I threw him away or I donated him, but he's gone. I have no clue where he is in my house. So this is another G1 Perceptor. For some reason, my dad had two G1 Perceptor Blaster 2 packs as a kid. Fun fact, he never watched the 86 movie, which is very interesting. But yeah, this is a G1 Perceptor. Uh, parts of him are definitely missing. I think there's a bunch in this general area gone. Like, yeah, that dish piece is missing. Uh, so that's weird. But I did get his microscope, which I think I was missing from my other uh, G1 Perceptor. Don't know where this goes on him. I have no clue. But regardless, I have this, which is very, very cool. But once I find my actual G1 Perceptor that's like more complete, I'm probably gonna use that for the microscope for him. I think I forgot this. That, that's Snarl, I think. Let's get Perceptor out of the way. Here, here is G1, um, I think Slag? Oh, he actually stands on his own. So I realized I could transform him the other day. So I did transform him into a robot and I love his robot mode, it's so cool. But I don't know how to transform him back. This thing opens? What does this thing do? I didn't, I didn't even know that. What does this do? It's weird. So I'm gonna have to see if I can uh, transform him back because he's kinda, I don't think he's supposed to look like this. But he is missing his leg and his tail is broken. It's supposed to, it's supposed to come apart and this part connects to here, but I guess the pin that that was in, they broke it because, like here, let me let me show you. Oh, wait, it, oh, there it is, see? Yeah, that's, yeah, that's probably how they broke it, so. That, that's gonna fall. This is an interesting one that I really don't care too much about. This is, a G1 blaster. I already have a G1 blaster. So like I said, I have, there was a blaster and Perceptor 2 pack from like the 80s that my dad most definitely got as a kid. And for some reason he had two. So here is the other G1 Perceptor that he had. This one's handle is broken. And of course the the deck tape, I think it's called a tape deck thing that that mechanism doesn't work. I tried to fix it on my other blaster, couldn't. So I might try some crazy method to fix it on this one except that it's broken. I might actually clean this one up and then display it in robot mode because I display my other blaster in boombox mode. 
but that is a cool find nonetheless, I guess. Here we have another G1 Optimus in even worse condition. We found one of his arms, the other is nowhere to be found. It's clearly broken. Uh, I might fiddle with this one since it's in such rough shape, but he has the tires. It's interesting they gave them rubber tires back in the day. Metal parts and rubber tires, that's something you just don't see nowadays, and that's kind of cool. But I will definitely be taking the tires off of this guy and giving him to the better condition G1 Optimus. Oh look, his smokestack is broken. Sorry about how deep my voice is, I'm, I don't know, I guess I'm just tired. Everything about him is just in such rough shape, but I do love seeing this G1 Optimus, especially in person. I think every Transformers fan should have a G1 Optimus, it just feels right. It's weird that they molded the silver bits in blue and then painted them uh, like metallic, that's really interesting. We also got Optimus' trailer, which I'm really excited about, and yeah. Uh, I told you it was gonna fall. Initially, it was like closed shut and I couldn't figure out how to open it. Then I, I left it, um, we, we, when we were going through everything, it was like in the floor in the living room. And I let it sit there for a second as I went to like grab a thing to put everything in. And my cousin, like I wasn't looking because there was something in the way. I just see him bend down and I hear like plastic noises as he's playing with the trailer or something. I walk over and the trailer's open. I don't know how he did it because I couldn't get it unopened, but here is Prime's trailer, which I'm very happy to actually have. Let me see if I can close it. Yeah, okay. There was just stuff in the way. This is a cool accessory. This is actually so cool. I love how the trailer like actually came with the Optimus back in the day. I'm surprised that sticker is in such good condition. How do I move these stands out? Oh, this, oh, this, everything's so stiff. You should have felt it when we got it out of the attic though, because it's been sitting up there for like years. So that's cool, you can put the trailer like that. I think, I think this button opens the trailer, right? Nothing's happening, I'll, I'll figure that out. Also, when we were going through like accessories and stuff, I did find the back to the trailer, which I'm really happy about, even though part of it is, <laughs> part of it's broken. I think once I get like Earthrise Prime, I can just use this trailer. There we go, see? There's part of the trailer, but it's broken, so it doesn't stay that well. We had a big bag of accessories and stuff to go through, and we had to make sure that everything went to stuff that was mine. So we also got a little roller, which I thought was gray, which I'll, I'll show you what I mean in a second, but there's roller, and then there's this thing. I don't know if it has a name, but it's supposed to come out of the trailer. The arm is broken, and everything is so fiddly. I don't know how this is supposed to work, but I'm glad that I, I caught these, so I can make sure that I got them. Put them back in the trailer. That's really cool. I wonder how much this cost, because it seems like literally everybody got a G1 Optimus as a kid. Well, back in like the, the 80s. And lastly on Optimus, lastly in general, we have this thing. Yeah, I don't know what this is, frankly. I just do not. I thought it was a knockoff, but like, it's a really weird knockoff. I tried to transform him before, but I couldn't figure it out. But essentially there's a whole, there's a faux, wait, I can move the arms out. Yeah, there's a faux chest and the legs. So you just turn them around. So either this is some sort of weird knockoff, um, or there was some gimmick in the 80s where it's like, transform him in three easy steps. We have this thingy. Uh, I got no clue what this is. I'm gonna be completely honest. I think that prime like sits in this or something. They, they're like the same color, same plastic molding, but it's like a big robot. And I think it transforms into that prime's trailer. I haven't bothered trying to transform it. We also found this Optimus Prime head and I think it goes to this. If anyone knows what this is, let me know. I, I feel like it's some sort of knockoff, but at the same time, I'm not sure. Let me see if I can transform him into trailer. All the moisture means a lot of these screws and pins are rusted, which makes like transforming things really squeaky and really scary. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing with this, so I'm just gonna stop. Uh, I got this part of the trailer done, but that's it. So we're gonna leave this over here. I don't really care about that, I'm gonna be honest. And then there are some accessories that we got with everything. I don't remember which goes with who, but we got these really sick looking guns that go to that prime I was just talking about. I think I'm actually gonna use these for something stickbot related as some sort of cool weapons for characters. But those are cool. We don't have Prime's Ion Blaster, sadly. That was really depressing. But a lot of these weapons were designed like really well and really neat. Like I didn't, when I was looking through them, I'm like, wait, these are actually so cool. Blaster's gun is with uh, Perceptor somewhere. So whenever I find Perceptor, I find Blaster's gun. Don't know where else to mention this, but my dad said that he had Blur. Um, and this is all we could find of him. 
It was in the accessories and this is part of him. So I just, I just took this too. I can't remember which weapons went to who, but we have the like Lego stud shooter gun, which is so cool. They had stuff like that. I think this goes to one of the Dinobots. A sword that I think goes to one of the Dinobots. Another sword that goes to one of the Dinobots. Uh, ammo. These ammo things that go to one of the Dinobots. Um, these blasters, don't know who they go to, but they look so cool. And then we have Prime's hands, which is so weird that they had parts forming back in the day. I think it'd be easier to just not have parts forming, I don't know. My dad asked me if I wanted the manuals and stuff to all of these, and of course I went yes. So here's Blur's book it, book it, book it, booklet. So we don't, we don't need that because he's not here. Here's uh, Blasters, this is cool. It's kind of easy to transform him, so we don't need that one. Ooh, this one's in color. We have Optimus Primes. Uh, I might actually have to look at this one. See what I mean? Roller is supposed to be in silver, but he came in blue. I don't know what's, what, what's up with that. Couldn't find his Ion Blaster, any of these accessories up here, sadly. But we got the trailer, we got Prime, we got Roller, and we got that thing that comes out of his trailer because it, it's broken though, so we... Yeah, that thing, that's broken. I don't know where the rest of the arm is. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fiddle around with all this stuff. I want to make reviews for a lot of these things, so hopefully... That's a thing that'll happen. If not, I might make a follow-up video of just stuff I've seen or found out. Oh, wait. Okay, I got the names mixed up. Snarl is the name of the Triceratops. I'm gonna use this to figure out how to transform him back. But this guy is loaded. He's got a bunch of cool stuff. Don't know why the Dinobots have guns, but... Like, the, this makes me want to get the Studio Series uh, Dinobots. Slag, look, look it. I keep saying that booklet. His feet are way too chunky. But I love Snarl. His transform transformation is just so cool. Skylinks, this booklet's thick. Okay, I'm gonna see how what I am supposed to do with the Lynx part. Oh, it transforms into like a thing. Most things transform into a thing, Bruce. I put batteries in it! It drives on its own! What? That's cool. Wait, that's so cool. That's so cool. I already know how to transform Skylinks because I played with him so much as a kid. That was like one of the first things my dad gave me. He has two tails? Here it is. I think this is actually official. We have Optimus Prime. This is that weird version that I was talking about. This guy, this is this, this, this guy. I want to clean all this stuff off, but I'm just going to pray that like the germs have dissipated in the 50 years they were sitting in the attic. Okay, I am going to attempt to get this Prime in robot mode. Ooh, that was not smart. Yeah, no, I might have to replace some of these pins because they're, they're gonna break. The trailer has legs. Wait. Okay, wait, these blasters go in his hands. So, here's that prime in robot mode. Wow, this is weird. It's just, it's just a car on the back. They didn't even try. Interesting, interesting. Okay, so now the trailer transforms. I'm gonna try and uh, do that. Can you hear that? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not fiddling with this. This guy's whole gimmick is just that he's loaded. Like he's strapped. He has everything on him. So the guy inside of him, pause. I think this grill right here is supposed to be like the headmaster guy, or like not headmaster, this, the power engine, whatever. It's supposed to, so this is the guy. I think that comes out. A very easy transformation. It feels like a rescue bot. Oh, I hate that. This looks like a decent display piece though. It feels so chunky. How much was this back in like the 80s? That, that's kind of cool. I feel like when I have him strapped, it'll look even cooler. Man, there's supposed to be guns that you put on the side. I saw them too. I looked at them and I didn't think anything of it. Oh yeah, he's taking names. This guy looks cool. This, I kind of like that at the end of the day. I think I'm gonna leave him like this because I'm just so afraid to fiddle with him anymore. Oh, in order to transform him into a truck, the power engine has to be put into his chest. Okay, so how do I get it out? Ooh, yeah, that mechanism is just really old. That thing is the part. I might, I might just unscrew him. That would fix it. No, I mean, well, that wouldn't fix it, but it would get him, get him out. I might just replace like every screw here because like the more I fiddle with this, the more I'm afraid of it's gonna you know, disintegrate. So, I'm gonna leave him there. We got a bunch of these things. You may or may not have seen them before with their like power readings. The interesting Skylinks are an orange instead of pink. 
but we got them for everybody here except that weird Optimus, which might just have never gotten one. We have these ones. I like the Blast and Perceptor ones. When the music is rocking, I'm rolling. One's ultimate, okay, I don't care. Uh, this art is weird though. I love Blast and Perceptor so much. He did accidentally give me the one for Sludge instead of, let's see, we have the Snarl one, right? Yeah, he gave me the one for Sludge instead of Slag. Uh, I might have to give that back because I'm gonna get in trouble. And I also got the little red thing, so that way you can put it on top and see their stats. We just, it's such a cool little gimmick. Why don't toys do this anymore? They should do that with like the studio series. They should put these in there. I think nobody would care, but it'd be cool. And lastly, this one is really cool, I think. So I'm gonna show it off. We have this booklet that my dad said in that quote was cheat sheet. It's essentially this little magazine type booklet that has all the toys. Uh, in the line or whatever. He said he would use this to uh, get what toys he wanted. It's weird, all the pictures of Perceptor have him with this more red color scheme, whereas the Perceptors that I have, they have like a G1 color scheme. Blaster looks like silver. I like how Blaster doesn't have his feet down in this product image. I love it when they make mistakes like, like that. Now, here's something that made me mad. I almost got Ultra Magnus. Um, I like him so much. He's just a white Optimus Prime, and he looks so cool. And I almost got the whole like trailer configuration that goes on top of him. But like last minute, my dad was, "Oh, I didn't get Transformers during his time, so that's not mine." And my grandma was like, "Are you sure it's not yours?" And it just kind of ended there. Even though Ultra Magnus is like from the same movie as Blur, and he's like, "Oh yeah, I had Blur. I just can't find him." And I didn't want to argue but I really wanted Ultra Magnus, so that sucks. Essentially, the reason I have all of this is because um, when I let my dad know that I got into Transformers, he was like, oh, we should go in the attic and I'll let you have all my old ones. He had previously given me Skylink's Blaster and Perceptor, so he's like, oh, we can go up and we can get the other ones, so that's what we did. We looked through old pictures and stuff because they wanted to make sure, because he had brothers, they wanted to make sure that I got what was his and not anybody else's, which is completely fair, but I might have to ask them if I can buy their old Transformers off them because they had like all they had like all the Dinobots they had a massive collection they had Fortress Maximus wait is it Fortress Maximus or is it Metroplex yeah Metroplex they had Metroplex like they had a bunch of cool crap um for some reason my dad had three Optimus Primes and two Blasters and Perceptors like as much as I love having you know the extra Prime the extra Perceptor he couldn't have picked like they also had all the Constructicons. I saw those in the past. They had a bunch of cool crap. So, yeah. I really need to see if they'll let me buy some of the stuff off of them. I'm gonna see if I can transform Perceptor, because he's cool. Did I get Perceptor's booklet? No. Darn it. Dang, that would have been so useful. Why is that the one you don't have? He doesn't have knees. His knees bend like that. That's so weird. No wonder Kid Me can never figure out how to transform this stupid thing. I really want the Studio Series Perceptor. I ordered him. No, I got close to ordering him and I'm like, not yet. Oh, I see where the tele, I see where the microscope goes. I don't know how I missed it. It goes in this hole by the back of the head. I'm pretty sure you can actually like look through this though. That's really cool. Wait. No! It's an actual microscope! What? It doesn't work very well, but... It, 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 it's a... Whoa! That's cool! And I know Blaster was supposed to be an actual boombox, so that's really cool. Bro, years. It took me years to figure this out. Can you believe that? I don't know why my dad was so interested in a boombox and microscope transformer. Oh, okay, it's not broken. Whoa, I had a heart attack. This is low-key like a sick alt mode. Look at that. That's cool. He's missing the dish. Uh, that sucks. That's cool. I'm glad I finally got to transform him. Uh, I'm not gonna do anything else with these guys. I don't want to transform them. Uh, I want to actually make reviews on a bunch of them. Hopefully. Fun times. So that did not have to happen. 
Uh, I think Prime, G1 Prime might be the first because that makes just the most sense and he's like the most complete. So, I might even make like an update video of like fixing everything. Because uh, I really want to change the, uh, Optimus's tires. I want to switch them out for the ones that work. So, there's a random wheel on Perceptor, but he doesn't move during his transformation to where that's ever used. So that's really strange. That's, a, that's another thing that confused me as a kid when I was transforming him, because that wheel didn't do anything, and I, I didn't get it. W-Haw. Incredibly W-Haw. Perceptor from G1 is sick. I love, dude, I love Perceptor so much. I actually think I already have Perceptor's uh, accessories, though, from when he gave me the other Perceptor, so I think we're good with that. Oh, this recording is 41 minutes long. I can't wait to edit all this. Look at this guy. He's so cool. Man, the 80s... I don't know what was going on in the 80s, but they were doing something right. <laughs> so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're interested in following my TikTok, that link will be in the description. Keep on transforming my Gustav sandwiches. Let me know which Transformer from this haul you would want or what G1 Transformers I should look for next. And I'll see y'all later. Peace out. This would be when I knocked everything over with the little like peace out sign. But everything is so fragile, I don't want to do that. So I'm just going to end the recording.